right now what we have is an electric utility grid in North America that in several parts is about 100 years old. It is a very efficient grid. However, it is very rigid and relatively inflexible. We have to modernize the grid. For example, today if consumers start to add renewable energy sources such as solar on their rooftops or perhaps wind, the grid design is not set up for handling the intermittency of the renewable energy sources. Secondly, today if you look, electric vehicles are coming online and the grid was not designed keeping in mind that there will be a large number of electric vehicles consuming anywhere between four to five kilowatts per car, which is equivalent to a large house. Third, there have been significant advances in monitoring, sensing, communications, control, mobile computing, cloud computing, and so on and so forth. And these developments have not made their way into the grid at the rate at, at which they should have. What we are doing here in Smirk is to create the smart grid of the future. We are working on three very important areas of research. One, electric vehicle integration into the grid. Two, demand response. And three, microgrids. In the future, we are expecting larger numbers of electric vehicles plugging into our grid. That is both an opportunity as well as a challenge. Technology is being developed in labs like ours and other labs around the country to enable a car to send power back into the grid and this bi-directional transfer of power can be made very intelligent. For example, if a utility operator is detecting that there is a frequency drop or shortage of energy availability on a hot summer's afternoon at 2 p.m., a signal could be directly sent into the electric vehicle and that electric vehicle can automatically, within a fraction of a second, start to send energy back to the grid, thereby helping stabilize the local grid. The second area of research that we're working on is demand response. And if the utility operator had the ability to directly control your appliances, your HVAC, i.e. heating, ventilation, air conditioning system, your lighting, your plug loads, and they could either turn them off or they could phase shift them. I think that the consumer is going to be the most important person in driving the word smart in smart grid. The third area of research in our lab is microgrids. Microgrid is a concept that enables consumer of electricity to completely go off the grid for a short period of time, which might just be enough to solve a peak energy crisis problem. In the microgrid research that we're doing in UCLA, we are combining solar energy, which becomes a generation source, battery storage, a stack of batteries that you can just place, which could store the energy coming from the solar panels when not being used. The opportunity to modernize the grid is right now. Worldwide, the price of energy is going up. Fossil fuels are running out. Today, our grid is not even as smart as, as most of the grids in Europe. This country has to wake up and we have to embrace smart grid technologies and we have to invest in them, we have to integrate them. When we start doing all these things, which is now already starting to happen, we will have a successful smart grid in the future.